Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today to this new episode of Music with Nick. Today is a sad one, you know, but we're going to try and make something good out of it. We're going to try to maintain happy and positive throughout the video and celebrate, you know, as you can see in the title, Dicky, we lost Dicky Betts today, uh, this amazing guitar player who I've you know, I've uh, come to know in the last couple of years, you know, um, doing these reaction videos. I've done some marathons of the Allman Brothers, and I've heard that he's just like was on another level. So I really wanted to celebrate, you know, um, his passing today with a with a song I haven't listened to. And I, I saw in the comment section that um, someone who I actually am... Um, uh, I love his comments. They're always very positive. And he said, hey, you know, um, MJ1, this is for you, um, of course. Uh, this is uh, your uh, your comment. Um, that's how you found out. And then I, now it's all over my feed. And uh, yeah, we lost Dickie Betts today, unfortunately, at the age of 80. And um, but, you know, at least, you know, um, he was... There's some players that uh, have been, you know, passing away and way too young. And I mean, you know, it's it, we can't really control that. We we go when when it's our time. Uh, like my favorite guitar player ever uh, died at the age of seventy. You know, so eighty is uh, I guess not not that bad. But anyways, it is. When you lose a musician and it, and if it's a loved one, it always stings and it hurts. And it's just there's so many memories attached to the music, you know. So as you can see, today we're going to do um, Jessica, um, an extra long one, and uh, let's enjoy it. But let's read a little bit about, um, you know, Dickie Betts. Uh, I found this on the, the big housemuseum.com it's a little article not going to read the entire thing but just the first paragraph is super re represents him i guess very very good it says dicky betts a founding member of the allman brothers band is one of the most distinctive voices in music today known as one of the most influ influential guitar players of all time betts has mastered the seamless style of lyrical melody and rhythm marrying country, jazz, blues, and rock into one unparalleled sound. The New York Times has called Betts one of the great rock guitarists who thinks like a jazz improviser. In thoughtfully structured, cleanly articulated, intelligently uh, paced phrases, when Mr. Betts was tearing into one of his improvisations, the music was about, the, was about as exciting as rock and roll gets. I love that article because i mean it shows you know that even you know i'm not a super fan of rolling stone uh the magazine because you know their top 100 is a little bit questionable there's a lot of players who are not on that list who deserve to be on that list and um, dicky is on the list so that's good um so but yeah uh, a native of west palm beach florida and um yeah, they passed away today. So uh, just a loss for rock and roll in general, for guitar players in general. You know, it's one of those days, you know. And so we're going to we're going to celebrate him today with uh, the song Jessica. This is from the Brothers and Sisters album. Let's see. Um, now, of course, since it's Spotify, it doesn't say when it was released. <laughs> no. Let's see. Brothers and sisters. Um, Almond. All right. So, because this is a remaster, 1973, August 31st, on under the Capricorn label. And I love the cover, man. Um, 1973. Wow. All right. 
Um, uh, so yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I usually, when I do the Almond Brothers, I usually have my guitar here because it always inspires me to play. I'm not going to do that today. I want to respect Dickie's. I'm not going to interrupt. Nothing like that. Um, we're just going to listen to his work and Jessica, because I, it was kind of hard to choose because I, I looked up, you know, Dickie Bed's best solos and there was so many, you know, different choices and people were like blue sky is the best one jessica's the best one all of them are the best ones so i'm like well you know let's just do the one that um you know mj1 put in the comment section and i'm sure that's gonna be a good one so uh yeah that's what we're gonna do and also in the almond brothers um catalog you know there's midnight rider ramblin man melissa blue sky and Jessica, but even, I just want to do a longer song. It's 7 minutes and 31 seconds. So here we go. The intro has already overstated its welcome. So let's just get into it. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here, for listening, for tuning in, for subscribing, for leaving a, a comment, you know, a like, a dislike. Every, all that stuff helps us, helps me and Alexia with the channel. I do appreciate it. Let's go. Here we go. Let's get into the music, and here we are with the Almond Brothers, Jessica, and I hope you enjoy. Let's go.
Wow. That song. So I um, think um, I, I've heard uh, this, you know, this iconic um, harmony. Sorry, I can't sing it. But um, uh, I think I've done because I've done some steel guitar uh, reactions to um, uh, Bruce Caffin. And I think they play uh, Jessica, um, but I could be wrong, you know. You, um, Scott Anderson, please. Um, oh, I'm getting a call. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it was a bit familiar. This beautiful, like I just love how this song builds. I love that it was an instrumental. Not that I don't appreciate the lyrics and everything, but it was just nice to be able to focus only on the guitar, on the amazing instruments, you know, how everything was just adding more and, and, and more goodness to this to this song. Um, well, for starters, you know, this harmony part is super iconic. Um, that sound was later used by so many bands, you know, Thin Lizzy and Iron Maiden. And uh, I don't know who really came up with it, you know, like I really have to do my research. I think I talked about this one time, but, you know, it's I think it's been there for a long time, not just um, with guitar, but just in music in general. So you can't really credit. Uh, I guess we can credit classical music, you know, with the with this um, uh, minor third add on, you know, to the root of the note. And it gives that this awesome harmony. You know, and what I love here is um, the way it starts with a strong intro and then uh, the just the band, you know, adds so much. Uh, the, these guys, you know, there was a, on a different level uh, when it comes to, you know, speed and uh, not that they were too fast or anything, but just like they were pretty, you know, it was accelerated tempo and um but I love the the piano solo was so good, um, you know, and such a great improvisation. And then also, I mean, then, uh, you know, Dickie's solo was just like amazing. Uh, there, Let me see. Um, I, I looked it up. That's what I was doing when I was listening to this. So he was only 30 years old when he recorded this. Imagine. So he had another, of course, I don't know how long, you know he was active for but uh that was so young to be that good already and you could just add more you know to the greatness so i'm i'm sure that's why he's such a legend and um yeah and i love the solo it was just i love his tone as well i was going to comment on that since i didn't pause and it's eight minutes there's so many things to think about and then i was like oh my god i'm gonna forget to say this and but yeah something that i loved about him was the tone on his guitar and uh, i don't like super distorted guitars you know i've i guess when i was a teenager i was into that you know but now when i play i always look for i don't know something more in the line of you know eric johnson uh you know it's it's not so distorted like you know his distortion it's there but it's not so overpowering it still sounds sweet am i getting another call yes oh i hope it's not an emergency well you know what let me just take a little break and i'll be right back all right i'm back so yes indeed it was alexia my wife and she's like why are you not answering <laughs> i'm just kidding now she she knew exactly what was going on she was like are you are you doing a video and i'm like yeah all right and um so yeah, so again, about his tone, just wonderful, you know. Also, another thing that they talked about in the article, the way he plays, just super clean. There's no, you know, going on. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate, you know, uh, the way that it's so clean, you know. that It, it, it just shows the mastery and the dedication um, to the craft, you know, and... Um, and the whole thing as a whole, the song was just super, uh, you know, it was just fun. And the melody of the song was just 
it's one of those things, even as a, in a, as an instrumental, you remember it afterwards, you know, it's kind of like, it's so memorable, the, this, 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 uh, this melody where he harmonizes with the other guitar and you just walk away and, you know, with a smile on your face, you know, and, um, and it kind of like builds and builds this entire song. It, it starts off pretty strongly, but it just, you know, has all these, um, improvisations, the bass is I was like doing it with the air guitar, with the air bass, you know, the drumming. It's just like this, you know, I don't know. I, uh, it becomes like this, you know, it's like this wind and there's wind and then it becomes stronger. And then we got a tornado, you know, a tornado, um, flying through, you know, uh, the land. So that's how I envisioned it. You know, it's, it was just very, very good. But yeah, I would like to know if I've, uh, because it, it did seem familiar, but I'm sure I even looked it up. That's what I was doing. When you know, when you see the screen, I'm looking at something and I looked at like, am I sure I haven't done this before? And uh, I did Jessica, but uh, uh, it was by, uh, let me see, um, George. Um, wait a minute. No. Okay, let's look under Bruce. Bruce, but will this quartet? Let's see. Bruce, Bruce Caffin. Ah, oh, man, I have to check. You know, I'm gonna, I can't do it because then if I, if I put two songs together, they might block it because I don't want that to happen. But yeah. I'll check it out and um, uh, I'll put it in the in the comments, you know, I'll, I'll tag it. But uh, um, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I hope this was fun and uh, um, it was great to listen to, you know, and um, to to honor, you know, Dickie Betts and uh, and his, you know, legacy and his, you know, his his. Um, you know, gift to us as a uh, musician and his uh and it's just that's the beauty of you know of musicians or actors and artists they leave their their art behind for us to to enjoy you know forever and that's that just speaks you know that's just i think the legacy if you achieve that and then that people actually remember you you know like people remember will always remember uh, you know, Jimi Hendrix, they'll always remember Alan Holdsworth. They'll always remember players that just broke the mold, you know, the, the, the boundaries of what was possible on the instrument. And I'm sure, you know, that Dickie Betts was one of those people who just added such a ferocious um, uh, ability and technical, the technical command of the instrument and and uh, and also good songs, you know, that we'll always be remembered. So I, I hope you enjoyed this. And um, and yeah, you know, my, I might do a little bit more. This was wonderful. And just the Allman Brothers as a whole. Uh, I love their sound. I love their energy. And it's just always a good time. You know, I always, when I do an Allman Brothers reaction, I usually have my guitar on, on the side just to grab it and to see because it's very in inspiring this music so may you rest in peace i hope you uh you enjoyed this let me know what you think of tiki bets was he one of your favorites um uh, are you a fan of the allman brothers if you're new to the channel you know uh, if you can give me a like um that would be wonderful it really helps out maybe subscribe to the channel you know we do all kinds of of music here but it's mostly guitar focused music in the end you know so here's marley um so so yeah if you could you know subscribe or like or at least comment and uh that would be wonderful thank you so much everyone again may may dicky bets rest in peace i hope you enjoyed the video and thank you i'll see you guys in the next one